Now that we know how to convert any base into base 10, let's see how to do the opposite. Take a base 10 number and convert it into any base. What I've done is I've written out 86753 in base 10, and we're going to convert it into base 5 using what's called the ladder technique. And what you do is you write out the base, which is base 5, you divide that base into the number. And when we do that, we get 17,350. That's how many times 5 goes into 86,753. And there is a remainder of 3. And we're going to do something with that remainder later, and you'll see what happens. But what we're going to do now is divide 17,350 by 5. When we do that, 5 goes into it 3,470 times with a remainder of 0. When we divide it again, we get 694. Divided again by 5, we get 138 with a remainder of 4. Divided again by 5, we get 27 with a remainder of 3. Divided again by 5, we get 5 remainder 2. Divide 5 by 5, we get 1 remainder 0. Finally, we get 5 divided by 1, which whenever the base is larger than the number that you're dividing into, you know you're going to stop because it divides in 0 times. When you divide into the number zero times, you know that you have finished. Then all you have to do is take the numbers from the top and go down, and you will get the number in base 5. 86,753 is 10234003 in base 5. So all we did is take the desired base and continually divide it into it until the quotient was zero. And then we took the remainder, started from where we left off, and went down to get the number in base 5. Let's do this again with base 2. So we have a number in base 10. We're always going to start with a base 10 number. We have 2 divided into 123. It goes 61 times with a remainder of 1. 61 divided by 2 is 30, remainder 1. 30 is 15, remainder 0. 15 is 7, remainder 1. 2 goes into 7 3 times with a remainder of 1. 2 goes into 3 1 time with a remainder of 1. And then the number is less than the base. When we get to 0 as the quotient, we write out the remainder, and then we go down to express the number. So it'll be 4 1s, 0, 1, 1 in base 2. So 1, 2, 3 is 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 in base 2. Now if we try this with a higher base, which is base 16, we use the exact same method. We take the desired base, which is base 16, and divide it into the base 10 number, which is 2,748. That goes 171 times with a remainder of 12. Then 16 goes into 171 10 times with a remainder of 11. And then finally, the base is larger than what it's being divided into. We get 0 as the quotient with a remainder of 10. Now, there's a problem here. We can't say 10, 11, 12 as the numbers because 10, 11, 12 are actually numbers inside of base 16, and they're expressed as letters. So 10 would be A, 11 would be B, and 12 would be C. So we have to make this conversion. If we have a remainder that is over 9, we have to convert it into an alpha character. And then we simply go down the remainders, and in this case, we get A, B, C in base 16. 2,748 is A, B, C in base 16. The latter technique in converting a decimal base to any base only works with base 10 converting into any base. And remember, with base 16, if the remainder is 10 or over, you have to convert that number into an alpha character.